Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today we're doing a 10,000 mile follow up on my personal vehicle. This is my little angel, I call her, 2013 SL550, AKA the Synthetic Oil Protection Machine. And that's uh, because all the fluids are switched over to AMS oil, and we've shown everything on this car. So if you're new to the channel, check out the playlist on This Is My Personal Car. So we're back following up. We're here in Las Vegas. This is one of the most dusty places in the world. Always dusty. And I always keep a little booklet and that just lets me know when I'm ready to do uh, any maintenance on my vehicle. So I just get a little memo pad, write down the date I change everything and do all my fluid. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Go ahead and tap this little button and then you're gonna see the notification bell. You're gonna go in here, you're gonna allow it, all the settings in the badge you're going to go back and you're going to click this bell and you'll hit all notifications. That way you'll get a notification when I publish my next video. Then you can leave a comment within the first 30 minutes. I randomly go through everybody down there and I pick people for Eben's end of month giveaway. We give $100 gift cards away, all kinds of really cool stuff. We'll see you at the end of the month at the giveaway. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that, holy cow. Look at this whole square filter from a distance. Look at that one dark spot. So out here is unlike any place in the world, the dust storms, there's dust storms that blow these rolling cactus and stuff. So enough squawking about it, let's get to cleaning it. I love these filters, I've used them on all my personal vehicles. So we're gonna start out by just tapping this out. I just wanna show you what this looks like. Just a little bit of stuff that's in there. Nothing crazy. We're gonna wipe this out with a microfiber towel. And now we're gonna do the drop. So you'll see how dirty this side is, but this side is perfectly clean, which is the way it should be. So here we go. We're gonna do the drop. Three, two, one. Again, 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 and again. And what you want to do is tap out all those big solids. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start spraying this with the detergent that's going to melt the oil. Inside here, this is actually a uh, special detergent and it actually melts the oil. So this is an oiled filter and oiled filters are great. Uh, they get a lot of very microscopic uh, particles. Um, the only caution, you just want to make sure you don't over oil them and we're going to show that in detail so you don't get sideways with this uh, oiling process. So all we do is take this out and we're just going to start to saturate. So we start on one side like this and we just go all the way through. And we're going to saturate. You want to make sure this doesn't leak. You want to save your, save your product and you wanna wear rubbers and do this in a ventilated area. This stuff is pretty strong. And all you're doing is saturating the media. And now we're gonna flip it around like this and we saturate this side. And you're gonna actually see it change color right before your eyes. It's actually melting the film of that oil and it actually starts to turn white. And that's how you know it's clean when it's white. And I'm pretty much happy with that. Now, we let it sit for about five minutes. And right now it's actually melting all those particles of oil in there. And it's gonna allow the dirt to be released. So we're actually gonna rinse this from the uh, inside out. And now we're gonna, hit the, uh, we're gonna hit the faucet and we'll see you in five minutes. All right, we're actually getting out our next uh, filter, which this has two banks, two air filters. But I wanted to mention, check out this video up here in the corner. That's my original full video of me switching this over to these filters. So if you want to see exactly every process, check out that video. All right, we're on to the right hand filter. Let's take a look. Take a look inside. Here's the filter. And this is in 10,000 miles. So here we go. We're going to give her a drop. Let's take a look. There we go. Let's 
Just wanted to mention how important this seal is right here. This is such a beautiful soft rubber. Doesn't let any of this stuff get by. And I want to show you what that actually looks like. This oil right now has 10,000 miles on it. We're getting ready to do our second oil analysis. But I just want you to get a real good look at this motor oil. That oil has 10,000 miles of not driving on the highway, not driving in a small town. This oil is driving here in Las Vegas, 110 degrees in the summertime. The blacktop, 160. Dusty is the worst conditions you can think of. And that's what the oil looks like right there. And we're getting ready to send this oil out for oil analysis. So uh, just wanted to let you know how important that is to keep that sealed and keep all those particles from going in the combustion chamber because some of those particles get by, blow by, and that ends up into your crankcase motor oil. Clean her up, but I wanted to mention these filters last a million miles. You clean them whenever you think they're dirty and uh, it's gonna save you a ton of money in gas, gonna save you time from buying all these filters all the time. And uh, I love these filters. I've used them on my Corvette, my previous vehicle, and I got the Aerade uh, filter. And it's basically almost the same, K&N Aerade. They're both amazing filters. So I definitely recommend uh, either one. But here we go, enough talking about it. Let's clean it. So you don't use any high pressure. And you just go back and forth. And you'll see all that dirt going down the drain. Wait till you see how clean this is. You only go one direction and you go from the inside out. So now here we go. You'll see it's all nice and white. Almost no pink color. Watch this. Look how clean. That's it. Nice and clean. So now we do the same thing with this one. See? Yeah. That's really good looking. Now we do this one. Here we go. Same exact thing. There's the dirty side. We go from this side out. All right, me being a little bit of a perfectionist here, this is still a little dark here, so you can always do a retreat. You'll see right here where a lot of that dirt came in. So we're just gonna go ahead and nail them again. Here we go. Oh, and I also wanted to mention, not only is the fuel additive important, I'm keeping the injectors clean and atomizing appropriately so you have a cleaner fuel burn, but also your mass airflow sensor won't get the proper reading once this gets clogged. So this filter is just not gonna let really anything go through, but you're gonna lose your uh, flow rate, your CFM and all that. And that's why it's so important to keep this clean. So, you know, you'll say that you know, this filter is good for about 50,000 miles of highway driving in a non-dusty area where it's very moist and you don't have any dust. That is true. There, you know, k and not lying, but out here in Las Vegas with double the dust and then the city driving, you saw it, that's 10,000 miles. This corner got packed with dirt so bad in here, we're actually going to just hit it with some simple green. So this is like a five to one five parts water, one part simple green. And I'm just gonna hit it. Now this is the piece that has no sensor. So there's no wires or anything on it. You don't ever wanna get simple green on any sensors or wires. Uh, but, uh, and you don't wanna leave simple green on plastic long. It can actually break down rubber and plastic. So we're just gonna go ahead and wipe her down. Get all that stuff in the corners. It's like tar almost. All right, we're back doing our final rinse here, getting them all rinsed out and clean. And we're gonna be cleaning our uh, 
or plastic boxes too. Take a look, should look really good. Oh yeah, much better. Now you can't even really tell which side's which now. Looks really good. All right, just wanna show you how I like to shake it. I just take them sideways like this, and I just go like that, and you'll see the water kinda of just falls out. And I keep doing this until nothing falls out anymore. And then you take this, set it on uh, where you, maybe if you have a fan, a low speed fan, and let it sit overnight. Usually if it's really dry out in about four hours, these will be dry. But uh, if you live somewhere where it's humid, it could take a lot longer to dry. And then we're gonna go ahead and oil these tomorrow. All right, there's a bunch of dust particles inside here. So I'm gonna go right on ahead and uh, just suck out all this uh, dust and all this uh, stuff inside here. We're gonna suck up a little bit of this stuff here. And uh, if we can't get it all, we're gonna blow it out too. So if you actually take a shot vac and you go from the suck side, you got the blow side on the other side. So we're gonna blow it out, get her all nice and clean. All right, we'll see you tomorrow for the oiling. All right, <clears throat> we're back after the night, and uh, I gotta tell you what, man, these filters, make sure you shake them well. They're super thick and they're not perfectly dry. So uh, you're gonna need more than eight hours and you're gonna wanna keep them in the sun. They're just, they're maybe 10% moist, but I'm not gonna put them in my car yet, but I'm gonna show you how to oil them. So here we go, just caution on these suckers, make sure they're dry before you put them in. But here we go, I'll show you how I oil. Give it a good shake. And you're gonna do one continuous stream about six inches away, you don't go close, and you don't want to saturate the medium. So you're only saturating at maybe 20%, and then the air is gonna pull it the rest of the way through, but it's not gonna be able to come through the other side and come out like droplets, because that would actually uh, oil your mass airflow sensor, and that'll mess with your fuel air ratio, and your car's not gonna run right, then you're gonna have to clean the mass airflow sensors, and it's just gonna be a big disaster, waste of time, you don't want to go there. So this is how you oil it. Here we go. And I've had this on all my cars from my Corvette to that. So here we go. Let's do it. One, one shot. That's it. Now all you do is you take a paper towel and all this oil that's around the silicone, you just wipe that off so none of that residual goes in your air box. When this filter is completely dry, I let it sit straight up and down for about 15 minutes before I put it in. So this is the inside, and I want you to look, the air comes in this way and out the other side. So you're not oiling both sides. You're only oiling the side the air goes in and I want you to take a look from the top. Take a look what it looks like. You're gonna see it's not perfect. You're gonna still see some white spots, but as this oil saturates the media, it's actually gonna get even redder. And uh, you'll notice in about 10,000 miles, the filter will actually start to get white. And that's when you know you're ready to re-oil or change the filter. For me, I just clean it, I don't re-oil it but this oil does actually evaporate. Uh, all oil with heat actually breaks down and it actually vaporizes. So if your oil's starting to look really white looking, that means it needs more oil, uh, but always under oil, never over oil, because then you won't have to clean your mass airflow sensors and have a car that won't run right or may, maybe won't even start. <laughs> so we're gonna let this sit and we're gonna let it dry completely and then we're gonna throw her in. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get these back over there. We're going to wipe them up with our towel. And uh, check out the, all the videos on the uh, SL550. This is AKA, the Synthetic Oil Protection Machine. And you're going to really enjoy everything we're doing on this little angel from coolant, brake fluid, 
Uh, we did all the fluids on our transmission, motor oil, uh, intercooler fluid. That was a really good video. So now we're just gonna wipe up these sides, that little bit of oil on the sides. And that's it. Check out this playlist right here. Tap the uh, subscribe icon here, and we'll see you back here next time on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.